Okay, here we go, painting the iconic Spitfire in a nice desert cam. Okay, I'm going to start off with a nice uh, Vallejo white primer. I'm going to give that uh, 24 hours to cure. And I've just mounted the bombs on a uh, bottle top there. Next up, uh, painting the underside of the aeroplane in a nice blue. Taking my time to get the, the layers nice, thin, and nice even coat. As you can see, um, top's uh, still pretty much white. Don't forget about those bombs there either. Next up, green ochre. And uh, what I've done there is just uh, use some low-tack uh, sticky tape just on the bottom of the aircraft, uh, just to project that nice blue that I painted earlier. Okay, Sped this up to uh, save you the pain of watching it all in slow motion. Okay, Lots of nice, uh, slow, even, even coats, just building up that color there. As you can see, from, from a white undercoat, uh, the colors uh, really uh, start to pop quite quickly. Next up, you can see it all nice and even there. Then what I'm going to do is just put some uh, blue tack uh, all over the aircraft where I want to keep the, uh, the nice green oak. And then next up, beige brown. Same again, nice and slow building up that color. Making sure you're getting out under all that little all those little bits of uh, blue tack there. Next up the fun part, ripping off all the blue tack to uh, to see your handiwork. Fingers crossed there's not too much overspray. I was pretty lucky in this case, but if you need to go back and just have a little touch up, uh, you can do just just with a obviously a, a normal paintbrush. Fantastic. Now let's get the brush out. Flat red for the nose. Also those gun ports there, just uh, giving those a little touch of red. Obviously I will go over them again uh, a little bit later with some uh, with some black. But um... Then uh, to the wheels. Just using German grey here. Nice even coat. Don't have to be too perfect with this. Obviously, when we uh, come back and do the the pin wash, uh, it'll uh, it'll fill in those blanks a little bit there. Also, the canopy. Just slowly building up that color there. Take your time. Don't want to get any of that German grey anywhere but the windows. Yep, and also the end of the cannons there as well. Fantastic. Take my time. Obviously, this is. Uh, sped up a little bit, but I am taking my time making sure that I'm not going to get any of that German grey anywhere where it should be. And don't forget the rear wheel. Next up the exhaust, top and bottom. And the next step, just going over the glass canopy with a bit of a dark blue grey. Next up, just a really light dry brush of red leather over the exhaust, just to give that sort of rusted feel. Next up, Russian green on, on the bombs there. Making sure you get into all the little nooks and crannies. Overall, it's not looking too bad at this stage. What I'm going to do now is gloss varnish the whole entire model. And now it's time for the raw umber pin wash. Uh, this will obviously be helped with the gloss coat, the gloss varnish coat that's on it. So I like to make up my own washes. So a little bit of raw umber there, 
a little bit of uh, odorless solvent. Just going to mix that together. And now with the help of that gloss coat, just touching up on those panel lines and you can see those popping pretty much straight away. Doesn't have to be perfect for this stage. You just way you're just wanting the um, the oil wash to run in those panel lines. Okay, um, you can come back. We'll, we will come back and uh, clean those up in a second. Beautiful. And also, don't forget the underside of the model as well. So just about to to flip that over there. Fantastic. So you can see here just how quick and simple this uh, method is. Beautiful. Just with a little bit of that uh, odorless solvent, uh, just gone back and I'm just cleaning up, making sure there's any any areas where there's excess, uh, but that's not there. Next up, before I put the decals on, I'm going to uh, put a nice layer of gloss varnish this will help settle the decal down. Fantastic. I'm not going to show you all every single decal. I think that would be mighty boring. So I'm just going to put one on here. As you can see, they're always a, a little bit tricky. Moving them around, getting them in place. Taking your time to, to line them up as correctly as possible. And just dabbing them. Fantastic. After all of that, after we put all the decals on, it's time to go back over and protect those decals with some gloss varnish. Next up, there's just a little added touch that I like. I've, I've uh, put German black brown into the uh, into the airbrush. Um, really restricted the amount of uh, paint flowing out of the airbrush. Just slowly going to build up smoke and soot uh, out of the exhaust, out of the cannons and machine guns. Just you know, just gives it a little bit of an extra touch. I feel. Take your time with this. Um, as I said, make sure that that um, that nut in the back of the airbrush is is wound in, and you're only um, limiting a very small amount of paint coming out of it at a time. You don't want to see um, a big black spot on your on your nice little aircraft there. Fantastic. Looks good. Good effect. And I'm going to dull coat the whole model. That really sort of brings it all down. I've also added those bombs there as well. Next up, gloss varnish the, the glass there. Fantastic. Excellent, and finished. As you can see, a relatively easy process, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Next up, all you need to do is uh, put it on its flight stand, and cross the fingers, that's going to be lucky in the game. Hope you enjoyed it.